hi guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video we want to talk about something most people actually fear talking about in the relationship so in today's video we are speaking about money i want to tell you some of the questions yeah. top questions that you can ask your partner especially while you are still dating i know a lot of you are in long distance relationship and you are yet to find your partner and i want to talk to you or i want to share with you some of the things that i wish someone could have told me before actually starting dating or going into dating sites or being in a relationship because these questions most of you are aware that when we talk about money especially when it comes from a, a, a woman's point of view sometimes men tend to believe that when we talk about money we are gold diggers we love money oh we are doing this blah 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 but in real sense these are some of the questions that you should be asking because if you don't ask this question and you make your expectations higher in a relationship sooner or later it's going to be a problem because when you find that this man or this girl is not what she tend to be or she's not giving me or he's not giving me what i wanted from the first thing then it can it be it can be a problem in your relationship that can lead to a breakup if you're married it can lead to a divorce and i'm not wishing anyone to undergo such things question number one that you should try to ask your boyfriend or girlfriend mostly i'm talking about women so you're gonna ask your guy and remember before you ask for any question do not just uh, start the conversation without knowing the mood of that person how he is like you must present your question very nicely without actually annoying him uh, just find that time and i'm not saying that you should actually ask him all these questions at, the, at one time you can take turns you can ask maybe one or two questions today uh, while you are talking in a good mode when you are happy and then the next day you can ask another question or the next month you can ask another question so you do not actually just uh, tell him oh I want to talk with you and then you start asking him these questions one by one at, at, at the same time he might think that ah why he is into money like he's talking about money all the time remember to ask it's nicely like a wise woman okay so question number one that you can ask your guy uh, regarding money it is that uh, you can ask him tell me your financial goals what are some of your financial goals and this question that i'm telling you they guarantee when a person especially those who are dating uh, in a long distance relationship uh, this person especially the men will tend to believe that i uh, when this ma uh, if uh, this girl can actually think or can ask actually ask me this kind of question then it means that she is serious with me and uh, it will trigger him even to doing more or working more because she he want to impress you and as you all know the work of a man is actually to hunt uh he is like a hunter so he want to impress you in different way and by the way most of the men that um are, are successful in terms of business if you ask them or if you uh, you try to go into their real uh, relationship you'll find that behind that successful man there is a woman a woman who is always pushing him and asking him and trying to support him in the direction that they want their relation to be so and also this question that i'm telling you make sure that it is not just a simple relationship like you are not dating make sure that your relationship is mature enough to handle such questions okay so the first thing you want to ask him or the first question that you can ask tell me about uh, your financial goals what goals do you have if he is wise enough he's gonna actually reveal to you some of the questions or some of the things that he intend to do in future and if he is into you uh, he will actually try to include you like he will tell you oh i want to start this business so that we can actually have something uh, to use in our family and you can operate this and this then you will guess as a woman you will guess to know that this person is for real but if he is not into you 
he might not even answer you or he might even get annoyed and that is how you're gonna actually know if this guy loves you or he doesn't love you okay now uh while you are just talking maybe you are in a good mood you can ask him this second question how much do you earn maybe you are talking about money or about job about uh his working or yeah. you're working you can try to ask him how much do you earn and then if he is really for you and he loves you he won't hide anything he might uh, approximately tell you i'm earning this kind of amount and i'm planning to do this and this so that is another good question that you can ask okay another simple question that you can ask your guy or your person if you are in a relationship is a to ask him how much debt do you have or how much do you have like uh, do you have someone who is owing you a debt do you uh, are you in a situation by you have debt debts madeni I, I hope we are agreeing if you are Kenyan you understand so you can ask him how much uh, debt do you have if he has a uh, debt he gonna tell you and if he is genuine enough he gonna try to explain to you how he, he intend to actually solve those debt so that even if you get married you won't be stuck in one place you won't be stuck in just paying 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 if he is uh, having debts from the if you are dating and he's still young he is actually dealing with financial problems or he is trying to actually pay the debts um, in school in the university in the college or he is trying to pay a debt whereby he had a mortgage or a car he's gonna reveal this this stuff to you and that is how you're gonna actually uh, get to understand his genuinity like he if he is genuine or if he is just bracking around and he's gonna leave you so that is a good question you can ask okay Concerning a debt, you can also ask him another question is, do you owe any of your relative any amount of money? Like, do you owe your friends or your relative or your family any amount of money? So that when you are entering into a relationship, maybe you take it to another level whereby you get married. Uh, this man won't be telling you all the time, oh, I'm paying my mother uh, because I took her, her, mother, uh, her money. Oh, I'm paying for my brother because I took his money. Then you will be asking, why did you not even tell me? Why did you not even discuss with me before? So that is another good question that you can actually ask your guy. Okay another amazing question that you can actually ask your man especially while you are still dating is do you want to own a house or do you prefer actually renting a house or a home uh, this way you're gonna actually especially if you in you are in a long distance relationship you're gonna actually get to know this person very well his finances like uh, goals in terms of actually housing uh, because let me tell you you don't want to date a person who doesn't have anything like anything even where to stay you come or maybe you travel or maybe you come to his side and then you don't know he doesn't know where you're gonna be um staying he's still sitting or he's still sleeping in his mom's house this is a not good it's not a good idea because uh, you won't have that privacy of course i'm not discouraging anyone we know and we understand that there are some people who are undergoing financial uh, problems but asking these kind of questions uh, with actually open your mind and also give you an idea of who you are dealing with so that you can lower your expectations because the worst thing a girl or a woman can do is actually to have high expectation about a man and then when you actually come into reality in into real life you find that this man has nothing has nothing 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 uh, that's where you are as a woman you start thinking oh i made a mistake and then you end up getting break up like you get a a breaker because you can't handle it. where will you sleep where will you make uh, anything like if you want to eat if if he doesn't have a house or if he is not staying anywhere or even if he doesn't have anything like how will he survive so you're gonna actually ask him and if he is genuine enough he's gonna tell you i have a home or i have a house or uh, we're gonna rent 
so it will give you an idea okay another amazing question that you can ask your guy is actually to ask him do you prefer me working or staying at home especially for people who are intending to have kids or oh, already you have kids you want to discuss these questions prior even to getting married because uh, i understand maybe let's say uh, for ex uh, for example if you are traveling from one country to another country uh, getting the requirements the papers for you to actually start just working it can be a hindrance or it can take time so you want to make sure that you want to ask this person so that when it, you come together uh, and you want to work uh, for him to allow you to actually start working and making your own money as a woman ladies do not uh, take this uh, easily like do not actually sit down and think that he's gonna provide for you even if he provide for you it is best for you to have a side hustle to have uh, some money of your own or to look for something to do don't just go there because you are newlywed of course you can take time to sit down and arrange your home and do stuff but do not actually settle just there thinking that he's gonna provide for you he's gonna pay for you he's gonna do this and this look for your own money and if he doesn't allow you to go to work then let him try to support you and this leads me to another question especially people who have kids you have kids and you are entering into another relationship let him tell you how he gonna actually support you financially emotionally spiritually and everything and we are talking about money today so let him tell you how much will he be actually supporting you how long will it be taking how will he actually uh, support your kids okay if you have kids take note of that now another question that you can ask especially if you are in into a long distance relationship and you are in your own country and he is in another country you want to ask him who gonna pay for my flights or for my tickets for my visa and everything because uh especially if you are in let's say you are coming from kenya uh, right now coming to another country or traveling to another country uh, we have a lot of restriction you need a passport you need a visa you need to have tickets reservation and everything and if you are not working uh, it will be so big problem to you because who will provide for this so if he is willing to provide for you to meet so that you can meet then well and good but if he doesn't and then you have to look for the money if you really want to be in this relationship and also something will tell you about him uh, the way he respond will actually tell you who the kind of a person he is so prior to actually thinking or saying that oh i'm gonna actually travel i'm gonna do this and this let him actually know who's gonna be paying all of this stuff and as as always like i've said it is good for you as a lady especially if you are targeting to get married into another country have your own money so that in case of anything you have already known what you're gonna happen because you don't know this person maybe you are meeting for the first time in his country uh, and then anything can happen he can be a bad person uh maybe he can be pretending when you are in a long distance relationship but in reality he's not for you then you can actually buy yourself a ticket and then go back to your country okay going forward another amazing question that you can ask your guy is actually do you support your family siblings or do you have if he has babies like he have maybe he is remarrying if he has babies you can actually ask him do you support your kids uh, this way he can you can actually you can actually know uh, his financial uh, goals in terms of supporting his siblings because let me tell you in some instances in some instances you find that you are dating a person who is the firstborn not even the firstborn the breadwinner of the family and when you are coming there as a woman you must understand that if he is still supporting the his sisters his brother his siblings then you should not stop him because they depend on him if he's still supporting his parents then they depend on him you should not 
you should not come there and start commanding him or not telling him oh i don't want you to support this i don't want you to do this it is unfair it is unfair it is so unfair and if he has kids if he has kids with the, the previous woman then it is a good idea for him to support the kids try to ask him are you supporting these kids now another question that you are going to ask especially if you're coming from africa and we all know africa we have our cultures and everything especially in kenya we do something we call dowry you want to ask this person and like i said you are not just asking randomly or you are not asking all the question at the same time you tend to create time and ask him this kind of uh, question when you are having a conversation so you can ask him will you pay for my dowry are you sure like are you aware that we normally pay for dowry here in kenya so that in his mind he is aware of everything don't just sit down and pretend that this man or this guy already know that he gonna pay or he already arranged he gonna pay for my dowry let me tell you some of these men they don't practice the things that we practice in africa for instance turkish men have not seen them paying dowry uh, the same way we pay like in terms of cows gods money rather um i have seen them actually paying maybe the groom paying for the wedding and also for them giving the bride uh some gold uh some money during the wedding so you want to make sure that you are asking or you are discussing with your guy these questions before you take things to another level so that in his mind he knows who he is dealing with for instance when i told my husband that we are paying dowry he was like what is dowry why are we paying cows why are we and then i told him this is our culture and then he told me because it is your culture i'm gonna respect it and do accordingly and that is how we ended up getting married because my dad uh god rest him in peace like he he is um he died um my father told uh, told him uh told me you cannot get married legally if you have not given us the cows that we need so my husband had to send some money some people to uh, send my brother to buy cows and actually uh, for us to get legally married here okay so take note of that mm last but not least you can actually ask him this question are you open into business like are you in a business or are you doing some business do you like doing some business if he likes he's gonna tell you and you gonna tell him about yourself are you able to do business what kind of business do you like what would you want to promote that way he can actually think and see sit down and see ah uh, this woman is actually a business woman so if i have money i can open for him such a business or i we can actually do this and this together now this leads me to the last uh, question whereby you can actually ask him do you prefer as having a joint account and then he can actually answer you yes or no depending on how he feels about it and then as a woman like i told you even if you have a joint account make sure that you have your own saving account okay don't forget to have your own money don't forget to have your own saving account just in case of things uh, don't work or things don't go the way you wish then you can know what to do next i hope you have enjoyed this short video even if it is long i hope you have enjoyed it and you have an idea of the question that you can ask your man regarding money we're going to be discussing more about money issues in relationship in my next videos because i tend to believe that uh by empowering other women financially uh it gonna actually create a society whereby women will be independent without depending on other people okay find a business as a woman if you are into dating and have something of your own have something of your own because at one point or another you're gonna require to have your own money to deal with small stuff to handle some small stuff it is always a good idea to have a plan b especially if you are in a relationship okay until next time again i'll see you i'm gonna take my chai or my coffee here it is my coffee not chai 
if you are finding value in this video and also if you are finding value in my videos do me a favor and kindly subscribe to my channel so that we can grow together okay